Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and here we go with a crazy idea that I came up with uh, I, Simply insane. I reached uh, um, I reached legend rank 5 with this. Uh, it is freaking good and I'm actually gonna uh, give you another update um, apart from this deck list um, that you can improve your deck list with your cyber angel deck list with so stay tuned and follow the explanation to see which the combo is that I cannot apply because I do not have the cards unfortunately but before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so I'm here of course with our Alexis because Cyber Angel V Rush is here and oh my lordy is top tier we'll see probably yes because as you may have seen from the thumbnail the crazy idea is the Beatrice Lady of the Eternal and you're gonna ask why now to be honest I'm using this um, just to be able to summon Cyber Angel V Rush in a pretty crazy combo but you can make this even better. So let's start from this deck list. We have Master Rights 2 from the skill. Uh, for all who do not remember what it does, you just begin the dual with uh, the. Uh, what was the name of the continuous spell card? Uh, let's check it. Ritual Cage. So your, um, your ritual monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by monster effect. And that's pretty nice. So. What happens is that uh, the decklist is pretty straightforward. So we have the triple separate petite angel that was finally free to tree. Then we have the triple heated and the triple bang ten. One Dakini is enough and one V Rash. I only have one, but one I can assure you is enough. Then we have the two Shin Angel ritual, the triple other ritual, and these are these four cards. Uh, just a, you know a bunch of stable cards, a couple of MST to get rid of back rows and a couple of temperance uh, just because it is a nice uh, defense when you happen to have your cyber petit angel in attack position and you have want to have something to protect it. Uh, uh, also keep in mind that this temperance is searchable with the effect of Benton plus it is a level 6 so anyway it can be used for you as a tribute for your ritual summon either from your hand or from your graveyard thanks to the effect of the machine angel absolute ritual so but here comes the spice and don't miss replays guys because you're gonna see uh, this combo actually in the replays uh, I'm gonna use it basically always um, why do you want to summon a Beatrice and actually it is possible it is really easy to summon a Beatrice with this deck because you just need uh, you're uh, a couple you need either then Benton and one uh, ritual um, you know, one ritual spell card you're good. I mean, you have, of course, your uh, real, your little cyber petite angel that can search for uh, either the ritual spell card or any of the uh, ritual monsters, so you're good. So what happens is that you have the usual combo. You uh, summon the Aedaton by tributing the Benton, so both the effects are going to be triggered. So what happens is that you're going to use the effect of Aedaton to add another ritual spell card. You want to add the Machine Absolute ritual and not the other one, but this one. And then with Benton, you're going to add either an Another Edithan or another Benton. At this point, you can just use the Machine Absolute Ritual to summon the monster you added with the effect of Benton. Uh, by shuffling into the deck, the monster, actually the Benton you used to summon the Edithan. So you have two level 6 on the field with just 3 cards. So uh, this is actually. We have a lot of a higher, a lot, uh, the highest chances actually. We have a, a lot of chances to start with this combo. It's pretty easy. And. What you have is that you just have your Beatrice ready. Of course, if you do not, if you have just the, these three guys on the field, on the hand, on your starting hand, with the effect of Benton, you actually want to have the cyber, the cyber Petit Angel, so you can summon him and then have maybe the other level six to summon with the second uh, ritual spell card. So what happens that is that you're gonna have two level six on the field. A level two on the field as well and you're gonna go you can go into Beatrice uh, at this point you can just go into also you're gonna get another ritual spell card because you can summon an Edithan once again so uh, you summon another Edithan you get another spell card and so what happens is that you're gonna have is in um, in absolute ritual uh, on uh, on your in your hand uh, and if you do that done the combo well you can add the summon angel Virash, and then you have this guy on the field and a Beatrice on the field 
What you can do at this point is that because you summon the Beatrice not with the effect of Dante, but actually with two level six, you can use its effect on the, the turn you summoned her. So you can just go with the effect of Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, send the Dakini to the graveyard, and then you can use the Machine Absolute Ritual to shuffle back into the deck the Dakini and the Petite Angel to summon the V-Rush. So you're just gonna end up with a Beatrice on the field and a V-Rush. Uh, and this is pretty good, of course, but now with the effect of V-Rush, so keep in mind that Beatrice is also a very good turn 1, because whenever it gets popped, uh, you get to summon a, a Burning Abyss monster from your extra deck, that's why we are, we are, we are playing Virgil, so that, you, uh, so that we get even an extra card to draw, so that's pretty nice, of course. And... Uh, and that's it. So this is the basically the combo. Virash is just so good because he can pop without targeting. He can attack a couple of times. He has a protection effect by by actually um, uh, shuffling a ritual monster back to the deck. So keep in mind that if you summon this on your turn one during your opponent's turn, you can use the effect of Beatrice to send a ritual monster to the graveyard. So you have a ritual monster to shuffle back into the deck with Virash. So they really synergize as well, Beatrice and Virash. And this, and this is it. So uh, you, you have a couple of level 6 more just in case they can be situational, but Beatrice is the mandatory one and one should be fine. Uh, now the crazy combo can be done with this deck just by replacing these cards, for example. Um, you could go exactly like... Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You can go with a couple of Senju. So look... Follow me, please follow me. I do not have Sanju, unfortunately. So there you go, and this of course makes the deck even more consistent. And then you want to put this right here, you want to put the Djinn. Is, is that the name? Yes. The one that makes your monster untargetable, right? Uh, what is it? Is it this guy? Yeah. So you put just a couple. So this would be the perfect checklist, because what happens here is that... Um, uh, once that you go, you know, for, with your, uh, with your Senju or whatever, you can just use the effect of Beatrice to send the Djinn to the graveyard. And it can, it can, it actually is a good thing because Jean can be banished if it is from the graveyard if it is used as a tribute for the ritual summon. So keep in mind that in just a couple of turns you can send both the the the, the, Jean, the Jean right here to summon your Virash and make it untargetable. So maybe actually Beatrice becomes the searcher of your untargetability. So that's how it works. This could be the perfect. Uh, scenario. Is this the guy actually? Actually, he's not this the guy. Uh, what's the name? It's Manju. I'm sorry. I uh, don't wanna. Uh, let me just do this. Yeah, that's it. This is it. With the Manju that can. When you actually can choose if uh, adding a ritual or a monster or spell card. So there you go. This should be the perfect deck list. Um, unfortunately, as I told you, I do not have this, uh, the, 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 this card. So that's pretty bad. But. It is what it is, guys, uh, and this is pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, you can make this guy untargetable, and with Beatrice, it is just so cool. So, guys, that was all for the explanation. Hope it didn't take too long. Hope it is all clear. Of course, guys, if you have some doubts or some questions, feel free to ask me whatever you want to comment section down below, and we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. First replay against uh dark sign and carly carmine let's see what we've got so it's her to begin with um uh, fortune vision so we have fortune lady nice to see there uh nice to see these little girls it's got the usual combo of course that is uh, heading to uh the fortune lady Havery. so of course we're gonna draw two cards we have a typhoon so i'm sure if it just goes with the back row perfect as you can see right there it's got the fortune lady heavy ready so we have all wind as you can see right there one ritual spell card one benton and one edaton i mean we can search the edaton with the cyber petite angel so typhoon to begin with to get rid of the other back row was a bluff then petite angel to add the edaton and 
at this point just machine angel ritual to summon the edaten and using the effect of benten to add actually i went with refresh because at this point I, I just have lethal right here right no i just went with another edaten and another machine angel ritual because i have both of them in my hand so there you go machine angel ritual to go into edaten once again uh edaten can actually um uh, add another ritual spell card and instead uh, benten add another monster i went for Rush and then the absolute ritual so Ixi summon into Beatrice a lady of the eternal and then this effect to send a daikini at this point the machine absolute ritual to make the, the, the cyber pity angel and the daikini we just sent to the graveyard back to the deck to go into V Rush. V Rush at this point can just use its effect get rid of fortune lady avery and we can just at this point attack twice just with V Rush because we activated its effect and we also had the attack of Beatrice that was none needed. That's how you do it. This is the combo. There you go. Here I was on my on a this was the third win in a row. We have fossil warriors to face and uh, don't mind the, the betting box reveal. I actually had a couple of duels testing both the battle box reveal and the temperance, but actually I ended up preferring the temperance as I told you during the decklist breakdown, just because it is more useful either for uh, as a defense from the hand uh, or for uh, the, the ritual summon as a tribute, of course. So he's got just a set monster, a couple of back rows. Uh, I just went for the Saber Angel Petit to have the missing piece of the combo, so I can just start with it. Uh, going with the uh, Edithan Summon, tributing the Benton, so of course both the effects applied. Benton, and he's got the breakthrough skill, breakthrough skill to stop the Edithan, not a problem because we have the other ritual in our hand. So we just had another Edithan at this point. There you go, Machine Absolute Ritual to make the Benton come back to the deck. Second Edithan is here. At this point, Xyz summon. Um, actually, added the uh, machine engine ritual. So Xyz summon into Beatrice, a lady of the eternal. And then I just attacked at this point and decided to flip down my Beatrice. I mean, that's not a problem. So uh, in, in for a situation like this, you won't have the temperance because just in case, let's suppose he has a monster that has 4300, maybe with some combo, I'm dead. I'm dead basically. That's why you won't have a temperance, not a battling box reveal. So instead, it just did nothing. So I just went for the mystical space typhoon, but he has an MST as well to pop my ritual cage at this point I just start attacking uh, with my Beatrice and then it's got the fossil warrior uh, skill to add the fossil fusion to his end and then the breakthrough skill to stop my Beatrice and um, that's fine it's got the fossil fusion right there into the skull king um, and actually, now we are in a bad spot because he can go with some of the Kisadar. I protect my Beatrice with the effect of Machine Ninja Ritual because keep in mind that she's a fairy monster, so she can be protected from Machine Ninja Ritual. It comes the uh, the damage right here, uh, I, I, and I had the Bending Box Reveal. At this point, Beatrice descent a typhoon that I do not want to draw so this, this was the mistake of adding a machine angel ritual instead of the absolute one that's why I'm stuck right here so this was a misplay from my side so Crusader right here to set that down and that's fine uh, at this point he just went the fossil fusion once again he was lucky to draw it there you go the school knight is here banishing my editor from the graveyard and he attacked I used the effect of Beatrice to send the Daikini uh, and that's fine now with the effect of Beatrice I can summon the Virgil and, and thus draw an extra card as you can see right there uh, and now I'm chilling at this point he's got the school knight's effect to attack once again I, I just have 100 life points left but it's all I need because here we go cyber angel pity to use the effect to to steal the Edithan and that's fine because now I can just have the Edithan at this point I can just go with the Cyber Angel Ritual summoning both the two guys directly into V Rush because with the Machine Angel Ritual you do not need to tribute the exact amount of level so there you go V Rush to pop everything you cannot chain anything to the effect of V Rush because I can just chain Benton's effect so just with the effect of V Rush he's done so that's how you do it my boys there you go here we go my boys, a third duo, let's see what we've got, it's us to begin and we have a pretty a good hand to begin with so of course usual combo Edithan um, Benton into Edithan double the effects adding a ritual spell card and uh, um, a monster a fairy monster that you go with the separate petty angel you want to have that so there you go petty angel to have the Edithan at this point 
and then the ritual to summon uh, the second Edaten at this point. Um, the sorry, the ritual to summon the second Edaten. Then double the effect once again. This time you're gonna add uh, the Temperance because we do not gonna get to throw another decay. Because keep in mind against a uh, a Kaitenjo, you can just go with the skill and summon the 4500 guy. At this point, just attacking into my Subrepeated Angel, I will be dead. That's why I had the Temperance. So. And then I added the Machine Absolute Ritual, so I went with the with Beatrice, Lady of Eternal. Uh, at this point, uh, it's, it, it's his turn, let's see what he's got. He went for the Fallen Lord and just triple set. In the end phase, I sent another Temperance to the Graveyard. Why? Because I just, you know, the thought was this. What, what, which cards I do not want to draw? I do not want to draw another Temperance because I already have one and one is more than enough. So I just sent the other one at this point. So uh, put the Petit, the, petit, uh, the Cyber Angel in, in a defense, then Beatrice attacking. At this point, um, I want the, uh, the effect to go through. So with Beatrice, I can use the effect. Keep in mind that I could have changed the effect of Beatrice to send a Machine Angel Ritual to the graveyard so that I could have protected both my monsters. But I decided not not to because I wanted to keep the protection of a machine ninja ritual for my ritual monster just in case he goes full power with this XC summon with XC's rank up summon and you know X, um, XC's galaxy actually has a lot of pop to actually um, uh, to face so I just went with Virgil so just in case he pops Virgil I get an extra draw uh, we're chilling because we have the Temperance in hand, it's got the Galaxy uh, Wizard to make it level uh, 8, uh, then the Galaxy Zero to go into Galaxy Ice Photo Dragon, it's got the Galaxy Ice Cypher Dragon, but he decided not to steal my monster, instead he just went through the uh, Full Armor Food and Dragon, uh, of course he decided to pop the spell card so that he can pop my monster, and then he just attacks, I get to draw a card, so that's pretty nice, um, and we're good I guess, because we got the Machine Absolute Ritual to send to make, uh, to uh, shuffle uh, these two guys back to the deck to go into Zakini. Of course, the effect if the effect of Zakini goes through this, she's just gonna be uh, sent to the graveyard, as you can see right there. And at this point, they can just attack and go all in. It was pretty nice, I guess. He just pricked with his back rows because he's got nothing. But as you can see right there, Beatrice is always the answer. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, my boy, against Yuto. Let's see what we got. There was a pretty crazy duel against Phantom Knights. So as you can see right there, we actually bricked just a couple of MST. Uh, luckily for us, he didn't went uh, actually all in. I um, mean, he wasn't able to OTK me. He just went with the XC summon of the Levier the Sea Dragon, uh, recycling a monster from the banished section, adding the Phantom Knights by the hand. And I just went for the couple of... Uh, uh, the couple destruction and unfortunately I didn't pick the one that negates my effect the fog blade so I top decked the angel the machine angel ritual I went for the usual combo as you can see right there Edithen into um, actually Benton into Edithen adding both a monster and the ritual spell card as you can see right there so you want to have the absolute ritual in this case uh, and here I made a mistake because maybe I could have added the cyber angel uh, the petite the petite angel but I decided not to because I was afraid of my life points being already low so there you go eat it and again to add another ritual spell card this is oh, of course the absolute ritual so that we can use the monster from the grave Beatrice is here in his top tier and this point I can just attack but it's got the fog blade that is a pretty good thing I changed the effect of Beatrice just to send the Daikini at this point just to be ready for the V-Rush play uh, and we're chilling because now he can't attack our monster and if he pops it of course we have its effect of perfection so we are pretty good it's got the of uh, the uh, Phantom Knights of Break Source effect, but he decided to go for the um, for the Ritual Cage, and that's fine. Then he went all in, and instead of Malevolent Sin, instead he went for the Dark Rebellion Siege Dragon. That was that was definitely a misplay. So he used the effect, but at this point he can't attack because of the Fog Blade. So this was his misplay. At this point, Cyber Petit Angel top tier draw. Uh, into V Rush and of course the absolute ritual to go into V Rush that just pops everything as you can see right there. Um, pops both the uh, guy and uh, just put my builders in defense. The Phantom Knight's wing to save himself, but actually no because I can just pop it and attack again. 
thanks to the effect of e rush and that's how you do it my boys there you go now guys um uh, i'm planning on um, trying uh, the, the the build that i showed you in the blacklist breakdown the one with the the gene monster the gene monster uh, maybe instead of playing the sanju just you know some some a uh, casual replacement like uh, i have a geese keychain i have a sonic bird maybe just playing these those two guys can be fine i'm not sure about that but i'm gonna try it just to see uh, how good it feels to have a v-rush with uh, an untargetable v-rush that could be pretty nice to be honest so guys that was all for today's videos i hope you enjoyed it of course if you have some questions don't be don't be don't be afraid to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one Thank you.